Hi everyone, I'm Soumya, Embedded Technical Engineer in GSAS Microsystem, your trusted partner in Embedded Solution. So in this session, we will start working on Sega development on Empower OS board using Embedded Studio. Also, we will look closer how to use debugging features using Ozon. So before we jump into the session, we need to know what is Sagar. So Sagar is founded in 1992 by Rolf Sagar, which is headquartered in Germany. So over three decades, Sagar has provided complete ecosystem and experts to show how embedded systems are created. And company's first product, which is Emboss, runs in millions of devices. It's one of innovation, stability, and people who believe in technologies that simply works. So what are Sagar products? Sagar gives developers like us to create, build, debug, verify, and program our embedded projects all in one smooth ecosystem. Why to choose Sagar? They tested on their own Sagar project and one-stop solution for full development cycle. And also they are providing transparent licensing. So now let's look on Empower OS board, which has onboard jailing debugger. So you can start your project right away without any external hardware. And it includes Ethernet, USB, SD card, LED, LCD, and runs middleware like MBOSS, MWIN, MNET, MVUSB, M file, and many features. So in short, it's ready to use reference platform where you can create, debug, and test your embedded projects quickly. To get started, we will download Segar's Empower OS evaluation package from Segar website. All you need to do is go to segar.com. And go to products, navigate to Empower OS, and click on download. You can see manuals, application notes, software, and download Sega Empower OS, which is Embedded Studio. I accept these terms, download software. So now it is downloaded, and I'm going to extract this file. extract and I'm going to move this file in Windows C so cut and go to Windows C and paste and now for better convenience I'm going to name this as a Sega folder okay when you open the project you can see this includes demo projects and supported files and also middleware stacks which you can start your project right immediately. Now in this folder, so you can see one icon which is start, double click on it to launch Embedded Studio ID and make sure you have this ID already. Accept. So these are the applications, these are the demo projects. So right now in this session, I'm taking Sega demo project. I'm going to include this in application. As you can see, this is already included in application. So we will build this and make sure it should be error free and compile properly. So go to build, clean the solution first. Nice. And go to build again to build the solution. Nice, build complete and now we have to download Ozone before hardware connection. Go to Sega, go to products and in the debug section you can see Ozone. Click on downloads, okay. Here we have Ozone, the jailing debugger. As I'm using Windows 64 bit, so I'm going to download this. Click on download. Okay. And let's go to download section, this is it. Double click on it and I'm going to install it. Click next. Agree. Install. Okay. Yes. All right. Because I have already downloaded this Ozone. So it is copying again. Finish. Okay. Now we are ready with the tools and we will begin with hardware connections. Now Plug the USB cable into your PC and the Empower board and connect micro B cable 
on board Jailing Kitty Parker. So now we are ready with the connections. We will switch it to Emirates Studio. Go to Debug and click on Go. It will start flashing your code to the Empower OS port. You can see this is the Debug mode. And we are going to run this program. And there it is. The LCD lights up with Segar's logo and smooth animations, a simple but powerful demonstration of Segar's graphics and middleware, which is running on real hardware. So before we switch to Ozone Debugger, we need to find out ELF file, which is generated by Emirates Studio. And for that, we need to go to eval package, which we downloaded. And this ELF file will be generated in that particular folder. Go to Segar evaluation package and then BSP Segar in this empower and output debug. So this is the ELF file which we are going to give this path of the ELF in Ozone Debugger. So go to search box and type Ozone. Open. Okay, when you open Ozone Debugger, you get one pop up which is target device. Click on that three dots from device section, enter your device, which is MK66FM2M0. And this is what I'm working. Click OK. And this is based on Cortex M4. It is selected. Click on Next. You can see here JLink OB K22 Cortex M, which is detected by the target. So it should select SWD and no changes and click OK. Next. So I have given this ELF path, which I have showed you in Sega eval package. Click on next. Finish. Continue. Now we will download this program. Before that, I'm going to set breakpoint at line number 64, which is BSP underscore set LED. Also, I'm adding variable, which is LED info to watch the data to track critical values so this is it and then click on download select continue under sfl okay so ozone halts at the main function when i run on first program on the first run it steps into the bsp led set function around line 64 where the led control begins and second run onward the code executes normally and this is where the ozone's features really get to explode so i'm going to stop the program now okay the global data window shows system variables and also with watched data which we have added variables will show you the values which we can track critical values live and even edit them on the fly the register window provides a CPU level view while the memory window shows raw contents in hex and ASCII and the disassembly view lets me step through instructions alongside source code. And the call stack helps trace how execution reached the current point. And finally, the RTT terminal gives me printf style debugging console which logs streams directly into Ozon without extra UART wiring. Together, these features make Ozone a complete environment for step-by-step -step debugging, inspection, and system analysis, all directly on hardware. And that's the workflow. So in this session, we have showed you how to work on Empower OS board with Embedded Studio with Ozone to complete Embedded workflow. Also, we have done flashing and debugging from real-time analysis. So Segar's ecosystem simplifies development, also helps engineers to create high-quality products faster. Alright, if you learned something in this video, then please share your suggestions or ideas to me that you would like me to cover for the next video. Stay tuned for this channel for Embedded Insights with GSAS Microsystem.